the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 243, Ezekiel 1 to 3. Fantastic Ezekiel. God who called Ezekiel, who lived as a prisoner in Babylon, entrusted him with the mission of being a watchman to convey his will. First point, the main stage of the Bible changes seven times. Sin through tongue, the sin changes seven times in the Bible. The first was the sin for Abraham, which changed from Chaldin Uru to Canaan. The second was the sin for Joseph, which changed from Canaan to Egypt. The third was the sin for Moses, which changed from Egypt to the desert. The fourth was the sin for Joshua, which changed from the desert to Canaan. The fifth was the sin for Jeremiah, which changed from Jerusalem to Babylon. The sixth was the sin for Zerubbabel, which changed from Babylon to Persia to Jerusalem. And the seventh was the sin for Jesus, which changed from Jerusalem to the Andes of the earth. During the time of Ezekiel, the sin changed from Jerusalem to Babylon. The mission given to Ezekiel by God was to persuade the captives as well as to console them. He was also to teach the people of what they were to do in Babylon. God taught Ezekiel of the meaning of the 70 years in Babylon, which was punishment, education, Sabbath, and the lifespan of the Babylonian Empire. Ezekiel was given Jeremiah's letter, and he was also given the Book of Kings, which contained the record of how the Israelites did not obey God for the past 500 years. It was Ezekiel's job to educate and to persuade the people. The second point, the young Ezekiel was called by God to start his ministry. The 10,000 technicians who were taken to Babylon during the second round of captivity, including Jehoiachin and Ezekiel, were to do work for Babylon near the Keba River. Ezekiel was called by God at the age of 25, and after five years as captive, he became 30 years old. The time Ezekiel was given a vision by God was the fifth year Jehoiachin was taken as captive to Babylon in 593 BC. So this was seven years before the complete fall of South Judah. Ezekiel started work as a prophet and as a priest at the age of 30, according to the regulations of the kingdom of priests. Ezekiel saw many visions given by God, and he lived his life obeying God's commands. Now, we will look at the four visions God gave to Ezekiel. The first was the vision of the four living creatures. God showed this vision to Ezekiel, and this revealed how God would save South Judah with his mighty hands. The four creatures God showed to Ezekiel in the middle of a whirlwind. Large cloud and flames were a face of a human, face of a lion, face of a bull, and face of an eagle. All these visions revealed the mightiness of God. During the first vision, Ezekiel saw a burning coal, which looked like a torch. God then showed Ezekiel the vision of the wheel with four faces. The four wheels were each accompanied by the face of the creatures. This showed that God's power and management changed according to his will. Next, God showed Ezekiel the vision of the fault. This was where God was. The last vision God showed Ezekiel was the brilliant light in the fold. This was the vision of Jesus Christ. Third point, the Son of Man was able to witness God's glory. God called the young Ezekiel and referred to him as the Son of Man. This was referring to the Son of Man who would experience God's glory. Ezekiel was sent to the captives 
to deliver God's vision. To the captives, God called them the descendants of Israel, and he also reported to them as disobedient people, sinners, and arrogant people. The following was what God requested from Ezekiel. The first was not to fear living among the thorns. This was a warning that they would make life difficult for him. The second was for him to not be afraid of them, although they were like scorpions. The third was for him to deliver God's message to them, whether they listened or not. The fourth was for him not to disobey like the Israelites, but to obey God thoroughly. Ezekiel was not given the task of telling them about blessing, but about God's anger. This applied also to Isaiah, Micah, and Jeremiah. Indeed, Ezekiel had a very difficult task. God told him not to be afraid of his own people. Fourth point, Ezekiel had to embrace the heart of God and become extremely strong. The words God gave to Ezekiel were as sweet as honey in the beginning, but the sweet words turned bitter in the stomach. What God requested of Ezekiel was to deliver God's message to the people, whether or not they listened. God sent Ezekiel his spirit, as the people of South Judah had become stiff-necked and extremely stubborn. Ezekiel needed God's spirit in order to tackle them. God told Ezekiel to tell the people of God's message from God's heart. Ezekiel was to put his whole heart into God's task. Fifth point, Ezekiel was called as God's watchman. The task God gave to Ezekiel was to become a watchman. The task of a watchman was to be alert at all times. The first thing Ezekiel was to do was to warn those who used to be a watchman and who did not take on their responsibilities well. The second thing was that if the people did not listen to Ezekiel and did not repent, it would be their responsibility, and they would die. The third was that if Ezekiel did not warn them, and they committed a sin and died, this would be Ezekiel's responsibility. As such, God hoped that Ezekiel would put his all into doing God's work. Next, God ordered Ezekiel to be silent. Ezekiel's suffering was warned in advance. God told Ezekiel to be silent when suffering came upon him. God said that during this time, he would talk with him. God also warned him that when he spoke, there would be those that refused to listen. As such, God taught him exactly what he was to do and what was coming. Ultimately, Ezekiel's job was to persuade the people to become Good fix in a kingdom of a priestess. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world, understand the way Dr. Zo does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life. 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this habit.